is Yahya. And we are the Marvels of IAR Super Enhance. And this is the Super Triple Separate Table. And we, we, we are here at Lowe's to make an FLO table. We found these two by threes and they're 96 inches. And we're gonna cut two of them in halves and uh, the other one by two 45s. So here we have sold three two by threes that are 96 inches long. We were, we were trying to find the sturdiest and straightest pieces so that we can have an accurate level. So we also got a four by eight half inch thick sheet of maple plywood that we're gonna be using as the base of our FLM table. Should I just measure it to be safe? So here since we decided to go with dowels that are one and a half inches, then it will go into each side three quarters, right? So I'm going to just put a tape here at the three quarters length. This way I can know where to stop when I'm drilling. So what we did here is just aligning the edges together and it's important to make the holes in the same distance to match. So we're just going to measure uh, about one foot length. We're going to mark them all together so they all align. And when they did the cuts, I guess they made one of them longer, uh, shorter than the others, but that's okay. So that's the first place for the first dowel. And then we'll just do the same thing for the second dowel. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to match from one piece to the other. So our plan is to put three dowels and so we'll make, this is a four feet, so at one foot each, we should have the, the holes. The goal here is to get to the midpoint and then We'll do the same in the other holes. So keep in mind that the metal piece will have to have holes on both sides. So what we'll do here is just matching the same idea, this piece that we already did the holes to and just aligning them. Go to the center. So the edges are usually, um, you know, not so clean from the cuts at the store and so um, you can use an electric sander like this or just even just sandpaper will do the same job and just sand the edges so it doesn't, you know, cause splinters and to be smooth. So here we have our three sections of our, of the base of the table. We have them cut into thirds and we drilled in our holes here on the side. So what we did is we took our dowels and we put them in. As you can see here, we put one in. We drilled it up to about an inch because it wouldn't go in all the way. And also a tip is that if the dowel doesn't come in easily, don't uh, keep hammering it. Instead, actually keep on drilling because if you hammer the dowel in, the wood can crack like that. So we're using four dowels now instead of six because we saw that to align all three of them, it wasn't very easy to do a six, and it wasn't really even needed. So, um, we can put that in. And <clears throat> you see that if it's not really going all the way, you can just tap it very slightly until it goes in a little bit. Only if needed. Only if needed, yeah. Now we can align them, and we can push them together. And put one here. We're 
So now we're going to use Velcro to attach the walls and sides. We're going to attach a bottom layer of Velcro along the sides and then a top layer. And then we're going to stick the, the sides with the walls on top. And so now it's removable and attached. So when you put on the boards and put on the Velcro, you'll find out that some of the boards might be curved. So you want to make sure that you find the straight side and put it down, but while you're about to put it down, you want to put the Velcro on the straight side. This is so satisfying to just press this thing down. Oh, that's <laughs> so good. I just want to take it off and put it back on. For us to know that where the Velcro is on the bottom when you attach the table, we're going to number it. So this one's going to be number one. And on the table, we're going to put number one down there. And this is going to be number two. And then here's going to be number three. Here's going to be number four. So you just got to make sure it's in between the separations. It's so like here and here. Make sure it's not on this line or very close to it to the point where it might stick to it. Just keep that in mind. And now we're going to be removing the stickers on the top of the Velcro. So we just now want to make sure that the sides are fully aligned and covering the whole table. Once you do that, we just press it 